Hello everyone, my name is Sadi Pratap and in this video we are going to talk about Mac Mini with M1 and its 10 GB Ethernet port. Now, I initially bought a Mac Mini with M1 which was some time back and it was 8 GB of RAM and around 5 and 2 GB of storage and everything like that. Now, when I edited the videos and all those things which I generally do with this particular device, what I realized that is it is pretty good for editing the videos, but when it came to exporting the videos, it took a lot of time. So I inevitably realized that it is putting a lot of pressure on the hard disk, so I had to return it back. And then I had to wait for a long time to configure and get my configuration right to get the Mac Mini with M1 so that you know I don't have to worry later a point in time if I got lesser hard disk or I should have thought later on if I think that if I have to get more hard disk or more RAM, so all of those things. So I thought about all of this and last month I kind of made up my mind on how much I need, right? So I decided, okay, I need 16 gigabits of RAM, I need two terabytes of hard drive and basically everything which comes with Mac mini. So with that said, I went into the Apple's website and I started configuring it. So this is what I did, right? So I went into Apple's website and I looked at M Mac with M1 here and then I hit buy. So I chose a second option where Apple had M1 chip with eight core CPU and all that kind of stuff. I selected that and I changed the configuration from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes and two terabytes of hard drive. And that's when was a pleasant surprise for me that Apple had introduced 10 gigabit ethernet along with it. So I chose that and I added it to bag and that's what I'm editing on right now. Now with that said, what I wanted to do as a part of this video is for you guys to decide and to compare and to buy and if you're making a buying decision to decide whether to go with this 10 gigabit LAN or not, I want to do two tests. One, I want to do the speed test for a two terabyte hard drive so that you guys can understand how fast the two terabyte hard drive is when compared to other things. Other, obviously I don't have other hard drives, but there are a lot of other videos where people are talking about different hard drive sizes and their measured speeds with it. So I'm going to use Blackmagic speed test today and I'm going to compare the speed of the internal hard drive and I'm also uh, checking the speed of the hard drive which is the network hard drive which I have QNAP NAS which is supporting 10 gigabit of LAN and Thunderbolt as well. I'm not going to do the speed test for Thunderbolt, that's another day, but today we're going to check with 10 gigabit LAN and with the cache drive on QNAP so that we can compare and see if that speed is good enough for me to keep the keep all the videos on the QNAP server and do all the editing on this Mac mini with M1. With that said, let's get right into the Blackmagic speed test. Okay, here you go. I am opening up Blackmagic speed test. Let's choose the target drive as the NAS drive. So here you go, I'm connecting to my NAS. And once it connects to my NAS, I'm going to my cached drive, which is basically here. I'm going to go to videos. I'm going to choose one random one which is cached and I'm going to do a speed test on that. As you can see here, it is showing roughly 900 Mbps, which is very close to one gigabit per second. Same is the case with read. And here, if you see, this basically supports 4K 60p, 4K 60 frames per second of read and write for ProRes 422, Cinema DNG RAW, and of course 10 bit uh, i think last two are out but that's okay because I, I don't generally venture into this area so these two are perfectly supported for 4k editing now i just wanted to see how is this comparing to the internal hard disk so i'm going to stop this test and i'm going to choose the internal hard drive which is basically say downloads and let's open that and do a test here if i do the test here you see that this is roughly three gigabit per second and read is the same with three gigabit per second. So this is what I wanted to see in the Mac mini, where I wanted to see if the QNAP NAS, which I have supports editing directly with files on its server. One is that. Second one, if I tomorrow move to a higher type, a higher resolution uh, editing like 8K or something like that, will the internal hard disk support that? Looks like Mac mini supports both of that. So if you are deciding to buy this with the upgraded or hard disk or uh, with the upgraded port for 10 gigabit LAN, I think it's a good thumbs up. So with that said, this was a quick video on 
how fast the Mac Mini's internal hard disk is and also how fast is the 10 gigabit port. Hope this video was helpful to you and helps you make the buying decision. Uh, with that said, do subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos like this. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.